Hey, this your boy, Young Hall, coming to you straight from Kemet with some of this knowledge, man. Check this out. I'm very proud of myself, so I must announce it out there, put it out there. Good vibrations. Put it in the ether. Your boy. Yeah, I can go to night school. You know, it's not going to be full sessions, but I get to go to night school and learn about nut and the ether and the moon. Okay, and the cosmos, and I also get to learn the truth about the naming of the Milky Way. See, it's a beautiful thing, man, when you find out how the cosmos, in harmony with the vibrations and the magnification, brings enlightenment. Okay, see. The brightest light you can see is in the dark, if you can understand that. So what is going on right now is, by going through things within myself, okay, I will be allowed to learn more about the universe that takes place. See. You guys got a familiar, you know, a little bit about frequencies and vibrations, okay? And that is just an aspect of things on the physical. See, when you start getting into hearing colors, okay, colors have sound, okay? which omits through vibration. Each vibration gives out a color in harmony with the universe. See, the flight of the butterfly, okay, is harmonized. See, the flight of the butterfly is through music. Flight of the birds. Propulsion. When you move, when you look into the eyes of the bird, don't listen to the bird. Try and look in the eyes of a bird because there's more going on. See, our ancestors are balls of energy that can come in and what it does is our energy is always positive, good, love, okay? This is why on cartoons, when they wanna say that you're happy in a cartoon, they put flowers and daisies and you know, cause it emits that type of aura off of your body. See, the senses in your body is a lot to do with nature. Trees, flowers, birds. All these things play a part about your vibration. Your surroundings play a part in your vibration. I'm just so happy that I get to go to night school and learn about nut. Okay? And... To, to, to understand the power of knowledge from our ancestors is wonderful. It is it's wow. And the things that I'm finding out, these are things that Tesla knew, uh, Einstein, and these were not the greats. These were not the great minds. Okay? The great minds were swallowed up in the matter. Okay? Because the great minds still exist. See, the psychological realm that we're in right now, nothing 
from the darkness of my mouth can be the truth because I'm dark. But if I divulged this same information to you in a tie and a suit and was a Caucasian man, then it would have more credibility. See, that is a spell. Credibility and honesty and loyalty is what you should be judged on. But now we're judged on appearance, how much money we got in our pocket and what we're driving. Instead of on the stand-up merit of an individual. So look, you guys, I'm going to go hard in the paint later on. I'm just at all with my ancestors. Thank you guys for allowing me to go to night school, allowing me to make a conscious judgment unconscious, and that was in Japan. If I would have marked that box, all this would have been over with. But also know that it must be a purpose for me. It must be a purpose. Everything, everybody has a purpose. But you got to see what your purpose is. This your boy. I get to go to night school. I'm going to tell you guys a lot about it tomorrow. I get to learn about nut. I get to learn about the ether in the atmosphere. I get to learn about the electric conduct vibrations. I get to learn about seeing and hearing the colors. I'm going to be able to, with sound, Project the color in my mind. And these are things we're getting away from. But don't believe me. I do what I do. You do what you do. It's your boy. Coming to you from Kimmy. Peace.